Last up today, Will, is Israel is advancing new plans to build 4,400 new settlement homes, uh, mostly outside of the current settlement blocks, which means is, you know, essentially expanding the, the settlements, uh, you know, territorial wise and taking up more of uh, the West Bank from the Palestinians and you know, from what we've seen with the deal of the century and other, you know, the more current proposals for the Israel-Palestine uh, solution, it's essentially to take all the areas that have Israeli settlements on those, make those Israel proper, and then leave the rest of it to, you know, kind of continue to be the not really Palestinian state, but Palestinian uh, refugee camp uh, of the West Bank or something like that. And... Yeah, right. As, you know, Ramsey Baroud has documented and written in recent months, there's Palestinians that are living in caves because they're unable to get building permits to build on land that's historically, you know, their family and that they rightfully own. And now the Israeli government's coming in, going to allow 4,400 new homes, but specifically not for the Palestinians, only for Israeli settlers. So, you know, you got to have the, the benefit there. Well, well, do you have any other details of this plan that you think are important? Yeah, yeah. So, um, like you said, there's 4,400 that are like, at, you know, uh, about to be approved. Some they're at very various different stages of approval. I think 2,000 are like about to get final approval, and those are like, you know, all but, you know, those are all but a done deal. Whereas like the the remaining uh, 2,400, I think, are um, uh, at earlier stages of approval where people can still file objections and stuff. But not that I think that I don't think they cancel them too often based on, you know, Palestinian objections. But nonetheless, uh, you know, these are going to happen in sort of a staggered, uh, you know, it's a staggered process. Um, some of the units are, that they're trying to get approval for have actually already been built. They were built illegally. And then sometimes they do this like retroactive approval. And that's particularly the ones that you're talking about that are called in the that are called in isolated settlements that are like away from like the major, uh, you know, main settlement blocks that already exist. And so uh, these new ones sort of like entrench these smaller settlements and make them harder to ever uproot in the event of any kind of, you know, in the unlikely event of any kind of peace deal or something that ends the occupation or something that would create a Palestinian state. Like you will have to like do something about some of these settlement blocks. And some of the larger ones are sort of already like that's already irreversible. The, the you know, those are already built. There's already thousands of people living there. But these more like smaller isolated ones, like, you know, those aren't quite irreversible yet. And by growing those, like you do sort of like, you know, you, you add to the complication for any future potential deal uh, to, to resolve the occupation of the West Bank. Um, you know, like over the summer, Israeli officials were talking about, you know, uh, annexing a huge chunk of the West Bank, um, largely the settlement blocks. Um, but right now, there basically is a de facto annexation because of the settlements. Like, you know, they, they carve up the West Bank. Um, uh, they're, they're built on a lot of the best real estate with the best resources and water resources and all that stuff. They're protected by the Israeli military. So this basically is Israel, but, you know, it's, uh, this area is totally cut off from the Palestinians. Um, so there's sort of a de facto annexation going on because of these settlements. And by just by growing them and by, you know, expanding them, allowing thousands more units to be built like they're doing now, it's a pretty substantial project. Um, you are just making it more and, you know, more and more complicated to ever resolve these, you know, resolve this dispute, resolve the, the Israel-Palestine conflict. Uh, they're doing what they call creating facts on the ground, where they just like, you know, uh, create it, make a situation so irreversible and undoable that you can never, you know, you can never remove those settlers. Right. Well, and then, you know, with that, uh, it, I think it does go to show a little bit, too, that Israel really isn't as serious about, you uh, finding a solution here as you know the the mainstream media pretends they are and it's portrayed where it's you know the palestinians that reject the deal of the century the palestinians that claim the uae isn't doing enough for them when they sign normalization deals with israel uh, and you know it's the the problem is with them uh, but you see that, you know, even when they sign the normalization deals, Israel continues their slow march uh, towards, a, a guy, as you say, establishing the fats on the ground uh, that essentially, is, I guess, going to make it that the Palestinians are just third class citizens of uh, Israel, but isolated to their little like Bantu stand type areas. And uh, that that's just going to be the situation for them. And there, there's no real serious um, plan on the Israeli side to actually 
uh, you, you know, start to create the situation on the ground that will allow for a Palestinian state and a real resolution to the si situation here, or, you know, start to create a situation where they, you know, just make Palestinian citizens of Israel with full rights and everything. Uh, it doesn't seem like either of those are going to happen. Anything else, no. Will? Uh, no, I was just going to, the last thing I was going to mention is this, like, I think it's worth pointing out, you know, neither you and I are, we're not that concerned with like international law. I think we think those are sort of arbitrary constructs, but it is worth noting that like the settlements are against international law. The UN has decided against them over and over again, that you're not allowed to, you know, colonize and settle territory that you, you uh, obtain by military conquest. And that is effectively what the Israelis have been doing since 1967. And they, you know, just continued to do for decades. Uh, and they're, you know, just they're about to, you know, expand that even further with these new settlements. So, uh, you know, I think that's worth pointing out just the international law element of that. Right. All right. Well, well, we'll wrap it up there.